Do you ever have that feeling like you're falling? It feels as though the world has slowed and everyone is waiting for you to hit the ground. All your life you want to pick and choose the moments when time speeds by, but the single moment feels never-ending as if it's out of your control. A dream is what some call it. A fading beast that can only be conquered by those with a trained mind. It haunts me every waking moment. What I fear most is being awake. That idle time when you're vulnerable to humanity in its sheer unnoticed complexity. It's balanced upon a glass needle in the sky. The needle that humanity rests upon is the result of timeless craftsmanship and unwavering knowledge. Sadly, all it takes is a gust of wind to destroy it all. As a human in this society, you are expected to conform. I don't want to be like the rest of them, so what am I? My mom calls it being a teenager. I call it being different. Simply not wanting to be like the rest categorizes you as being abnormal. Sadly, I've always been abnormal, a stranger to society. That's when Sarah came into my life, a bright star that shines light on my dark and gloomy existence. She seemed to understand me. If actively listening to my soapbox of a proposal is constituted as being a friend, then that's what she was. I don't believe in letting emotion take over. Or better yet, I don't believe in being consumed by natural human response. But in this one single moment, I expelled sadness. That feeling that one experiences at a moment of loss or grief. Never has this happened to me, but Sarah was my everything. Now she was the shining star that finally burnt out. The mindless interrogation that followed her unexplained death paralyzed me, left me consumed by a darkness that urged me to cause destruction. Keeping composure during the questioning was the hardest part. They thought I had killed her. She was my opposite, which raised the question if my jealousy would have motivated me to take her life. Not once did they question the possibility of a friendship. Once I was released from questioning, I decided to simply go home. A warm bed was awaiting my arrival, a bed that welcomed dreams and darkness darkness that would engulf my emotions to Sarah. The fading memory of her existence brought on the corrosion of my soul. What if I did kill her? A never-ending wall restricts me from remembering what had happened the night before. How did she die? Was she dead? Could this be a nightmare which provides no escape? I must welcome sleep to preserve the slightest amount of sanity that I hold. My unanswered questions will be waiting for me in the morning. An unmarked note resides on my nightstand. Sarah would sign her notes with an S. This must be one of her breadcrumbs she had left. A breadcrumb that screams, find me. We used to do this before her death. A way to distract me from society, she used to say. Except, I never finished this trail. Is this what I need to get my mind off of her death? Where the sun does not rise is the start of a new beginning. Find me. S. We would call the locker room our sunless escape, a place we would get lost in during class. Why is it the start of a new beginning? That's where we met! The start of a new beginning symbolizes a starting point in our friendship. What are you doing here? My grandmother died. And my mom didn't even call me. She sent me a text. Being in this smelly old place reminds me how much I dislike humanity. Mainly though, all those times I would try to influence Sarah to do drugs. That aspect of your teen years that is referred to as peer pressure. Although I don't believe in peer pressure, I was simply trying to help Sarah find an escape. I was consumed by projecting myself onto her. The moon shines light on an unforgotten night. Find me. S. Another breadcrumb. Where does the moon shine? We would escape to the hill which overlooks the river. This was my escape from an empty house. A house that holds me, 
a dog, and my mother, a mother that I only see for an hour each day, a night that is unforgotten. Many nights we shared stories and talked about our crap lives, but how is one night any different from the others? The attempted first kiss. A kiss that lights a fiery storm of butterflies in my stomach. A surge of energy was shared during that one single moment. The universe seemed to stop while the stars aligned, but it ended abruptly when she had run home. It's always so pretty up here. Do you ever look up and think about the never-ending void of space and darkness? The memories made in this one spot overwhelms me. All of those sleepless nights together under the stars. How I yearn to take those priceless moments back. The roof is where we will meet. Find me. S. The roof? An unlikely and mysterious location. Only once did we go on the school's roof. A time when questioning life was the strongest. The darkest of times that we experienced together. When a paper flaps in the wind, it stands the chance of being swept away by a breeze. A gust of wind to bring an end to the content on that single page. The power of words on paper can lead to monumental occurrences. Now it's your turn. I stopped you, but now it's time. Be with me. S. Standing on an edge that can determine life and death sends a feeling of exhilaration through my body. It's a time when one decision can change everything. A time when you have to decide if being with the one you love is truly worth it. Sometimes it is worth it. Do you ever have that feeling like you're falling? A dream is what some call it. A fading beast that can only be conquered by those with a trained mind. Go find me a stream. Tie a knot and make me a ring. And I'll treasure that thing. Like a diamond so 